Okay, welcome to your third video of basic AutoCAD, learning where um, all of the items in AutoCAD are and how to draw with them. So now that we've panned and zoomed around, we can start drawing. To draw, you can either type in a command or click on an icon. Those are two different ways of getting started on your commands. At your home screen, with the drawing box right here, you have lines, polylines, which are lines that are connected, circles, which you can draw from um, creating a center and then a radius, or you can choose different types of ways to start a circle. There's a three-point arc. We have a rectangle, which can also be a square. Um, an ellipse, so that'll create an ellipse, and hatch, so that fills your um, drawing area. If you click on the drawing button itself, you have additional commands that are helpful but not used quite as often. So we have a spline fit. So this is kind of a curvy line that isn't necessarily um, set arc radiuses, but it, it draws a line between your points. So we have um, a different way using your um, vertices so you can control the arc of the line. So it can be um, a little more angular or a little bit softer. We have construction lines. So those are infinite length lines um, that you can use to set up your drawing. So you don't need to um, use them for actual lines, but they will um, they'll help guide your edges. Rays. So those will start and go on to affinity, and this example is perfect. You do sometimes want to use them to create steps along an arc. Points. Multiple points are very helpful in creating spots in space, such as on this example here. You will um, have points of um, topography, so you'd have an elevation point, and then you can develop your topography lines based on those spot elevations. Dividing is helpful, especially when we do um, expansion joints along a concrete walkway. You get extra points. You can lay out trees this way or shrubs and each point would then be a, a certain distance away from the next one along a line. So the divide is going to um, create the number of spaces that you want between the points where measure is going to create them with a certain distance between the points. Our next command is um, a region, so that's going to co convert your objects and then closes it into a region. Wipeout will create um, an area um, on your screen where you will not see the drawing beneath it, and that allows you to do multiple drawings in one space. And it's also helpful for plotting when you have some information that you don't need to see, but you really do need to keep it around and reference it. Our 3D polylines are helpful when drawing three-dimensional objects. We're not using those right now. And your helix will create a spiral also in three dimensions. You can use it for two dimensions as well. Donuts, this is a, um, a solid, thickness of a circle with a hollow center. So these two examples are really helpful. They can be, um, you know, a circle with a thick edging to it, thick boundary, or it can be a solid dot. Our final command here is a rectangular revision cloud. So you can take any object and create a revision cloud. Fortunately, this tends to look a little bit like a shrub boundary. So even though we use it for changing in construction drawings, we can use it in landscape drawing for a shrub boundary, and I'll show you how to do that. 
when we start to work. So those are our basic drawing commands and I'd like you to take some time and practice some of them. So when you draw, you can practice over to the side on this drawing that's already set up for you. Start with a line and so I clicked with my mouse to select that line and just click at any point in space. When you're done, you can hit the spacebar or the enter key. So these are lines. These are our grips on the lines and each of these lines is separate. To deselect, you can right click and deselect. So when this is selected, we are able to stretch, move, and um, change the position of this line. Once it becomes unselected, it is fixed in place. Let's move on to polyline. Polyline gives you the option of different thicknesses, arcs, and lines. So I can start by drawing a line. Line is the default. But let's say I want to have an arc in there. I can click on arc, going down to the bottom of the screen, and then start laying out arc lines. So you can see AutoCAD sort of makes the choices for you, but if you want to, you can go to second point and change the direction by putting a center point of your arc and then selecting the end point. Again, spacebar or um, spacebar to exit. Our next command is circle. We create a circle by clicking for the center of the circle and then drawing outward. Arc, we have a three point arc, kind of like with the um, polyline, except it sits by itself, it's individual. You can do many, many different types of arcs. So if you do need to do an arc and you only have a couple of the points available to you, you can choose one of these different methods and that will help you. Oftentimes what we're doing in landscape are simple arcs just to represent the curb of a planting area or something along those lines. I'm going to go ahead and um, give this a break and let you spend a little bit of time drawing and then we'll come back into it and draw some more. <laughs> 